store position. So that's going to place them back in the original position that they were in the default position. And then I'm going to click close. So this way, um, if you lose your toolbars, I uh, can't find them. Again, I'm going to turn this representation on. There it is. Uh, that's a quick and easy way to um, to bring your toolbars back. Uh, one last one last thing before we um, close up the session for today is uh, I just want to show saving. So let's say um, let's say that you need to uh, you've done some changes and you want to save. Now, digital project because it deals with so many um, diverse files, uh, just doing save here uh, may not cut it because depending on what you currently have active in the window or in the in the model tree, I should say, um, it's going to to save whatever whatever location you have uh, selected in the model tree. So if I'm down here in uh, in the structural core file right here, then when I go to save, it's only going to save that file. And if I've done changes in other files, um, it's not necessarily going to save those. So you want to be careful before you close your file that you go up to File and Save Management. And what this is going to do is give you a full listing of all the files that are currently open and it's going to tell you um, whether they've been modified or not. Um, and basically, uh, if they've been modified, you can select them and do a save. In this case, uh, these files are read-only. But it's a, let's say if they were not read-only, then um, you do save. In this case, it's giving you the option to save as. So you, you go through and you, you, can, you can click the, the state uh, column here and reorganize them based on their on their state and basically um, this allows you to to see everything that's been changed save it click OK when you're done and then it's going to run through and save all those files so that way you don't lose you don't lose um, any of your work um, Uh, one thing that, um, one thing that, uh, oh, should I show that? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, I'm getting a little feedback on, uh, on, um, I think... We've basically gone over uh, what we wanted to, to touch on today. Um, basic navigation of the model, um, how, to, uh, <clears throat> how, how to understand the relationship between the model view and the model tree or the data view of the model. Um, that back and forth that occurs. Uh, I, I definitely think that in many cases, this this view of the model is is more important and more essential than than the visual view of the model. So that the real the model really exists as data, and and this is a representation of the data. Um, but a lot of what you are be will be working with uh, is located within the the model tree. Um, and basically. Uh, we touched on how how uh, digital project deals with such um, large files, but at, at, a, at such a high level of, of detail, um, it, it it deals with many many um, files all organized in a hierarchy, um, which in addition, as I mentioned before, allows for more collaboration because a, di a diverse team of people can be working on files. Um, globally, um, and and checking out those files, and 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 everyone stays updated. So um, I'd like to thank everyone. 
Um, I'd like to, to remind them that uh, you can always go to our, our website, uh, GaryTechnologies.com. And uh, also, if you're not already uh, logged on, you should take a look at the GT Wiki, which is at uh, www.gtwiki.org. Um, if you haven't uh, gone here before, check it out. It's free. Um, it's open to everyone. Um, you can choose to, uh, to log on. If you do log on, then uh, you'll notice on, on the left here there's some documentation for both V1R4 and R3. So if you want the latest documentation for, um, for Digital Project, uh, you'll need to provide your login information. Um, that's very quick and easy. Um, but basically, uh, if uh, trust me, you'll, if you're if you're continuing to learn Digital Project and um, you want to continue learning from fellow users, this is the best uh, resource uh, to turn to. So I'd like to thank you and. Um, from Knowledge Services here at Gary Technologies. Uh, I'd like to uh, welcome you back next week. Same time, same place. Thanks.